Do you believe in aliens? It seems like every generation has been enamored with their existence. Think back to movies and TV shows through the years, and you'll see the interest magnified. Close Encounters, Mork and Mindy, E.T., Signs, Men in Black, Aliens, or Lost in Space. I'm here today, on July 1st, my birthday, to proclaim the truth. I wouldn't lie on my birthday. Aliens have arrived on planet Earth. Indeed, aliens are here. However, this is not new news. We need only look backwards a few thousand years in 1 Peter 2, 11 through 17 to know that this is truth. Peter starts verse 11 with these words, Beloved, I urge you as aliens and strangers in this world. So in other words, according to scripture, not only are aliens living among us, but guess what? You, we, are the alien. We may not have antennas, green skin, or buggy eyes in the middle of our foreheads, but we are aliens. In other words, there is intelligent life here, but it's not always so intelligent. And herein lies the problem. As aliens, we shouldn't be comfortable and at home in this world because it's not our home. We belong to another king and kingdom. But that doesn't mean we should live carelessly or abandon society. God commissions us to be his representatives wherever we are, doing good and honoring everyone with the goal of turning people's hearts to God. Unfortunately, a lot of aliens, also known as Christians, either missed the memo or maybe it got lost in space. I can say with confidence that I am guilty too. Thankfully, God doesn't demand perfection. He is quick to forgive and help guide us back in the direction the Apostle Peter was helping us to understand. Our verses today encourage believers to abstain from worldly desires, maintain positive behavior among non-believers, and submit to authorities, all for the sake of Christ. Our actions should reflect the love and grace of God, serving as a testimony to the transformative power of the gospel. By exercising self-discipline, demonstrating honorable conduct, and submitting to authority, we can effectively impact the world around us and bring glory to God through our actions. The New Century Version translation puts it like this, live as free people, but do not use your freedom as an excuse to do evil. Live as servants of God, show respect for all people, love the brothers and sisters of God's family, respect God, honor the king. Love, respect, honor. And on that note, nanu nanu.